Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. I'm so grateful that you're here and I hope that uh, you find value and that you keep on coming back. And that value could be in something uh, that you're learning, perhaps as a beginner, something that you're being reminded of if you've been at this for a while, um, something in the dialogue and the delivery that you that you that appeals to you. Anyway, let me get to this. I um, <laughs> have been on a video making frenzy because uh, March is going to be a pretty busy month for me. Not only uh, is there a milestone birthday, and I'll tell you more about that as soon as I'm ready, uh, but. I'll be away at a couple conferences and then, of course, my uh, <laughs> pilgrimage to Winnipeg to meet Kim Newberg and some of her buddies. So I'm really looking forward to that. But it also means that I need to get my homework done before then. So that's part of what's been going on. Yesterday, however, I didn't make a single video and I have to say it felt like something was missing. So... Let me get to this. One of the things that I spent the day doing, no, I didn't take the day off. No, I didn't play hooky. No, I wasn't watching soap operas and eating bonbons. Um, I was going through files on my computer, being surprised at the hundreds of images that I have scanned. I was looking for... Um, something to put together for my birthday freebie, uh, draw, whatever. However, I choose to mark this, this occasion. So that was part of it. So one of the things I came across, um, well, this is one of them. <sighs> I believe this was, <coughs> I can't remember which book it was from, but I mean, it's obviously beautiful. So I printed some of these out, and I think I did this particular one for a page. And then there's another one that was a, like a two-page spread, and equally as cute, and I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, I thought, well, okay, I've wanted to get uh, back into doing a video for um, hashtag tag your turn. And that, if you don't already know, is an initiative that was started by Carrie, the paper monkey. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know how very precious she is to me. Um, I'll just quickly tell you the story. Um, as with any YouTube channel, you start out, you feel like you're talking to yourself, the subscription numbers are inching along, if moving at all. And um, it's frankly a bit discouraging. However, because I'm a big girl now, I know that <laughs> except for a few exceptions to the rule, it's a process of sticking to it, um, do what you love, um, you know, don't lose the faith, just keep on going. And eventually, you know, you'll, the results will show. So, of course, one of the things that makes a YouTuber the happiest is uh, seeing, receiving comments. And one of them was from someone named Carrie. And she was basically saying that, you know, kind of in a nutshell, that um, she would like to promote my channel and she believes that, you know, we kind of have a, a responsibility and a, well, and a pleasure to help other small channels grow. And I said, cause you know, <laughs> you know me, I said, well, I hope one day to be a big channel, but yes, by all means, of course, I'd love to have you promote my channel. And that began, that led to a uh, a few more blessings in my life. So she will always have a soft spot in my heart. Anyway, it's high time to do another Tag Your Turn video. Caroline, I hope you're watching and I hope you watch till the end like a good girl. I'm sure you will. 
Um, so basically what I did was, I'll show you the ones I've done. And then I'll show you the two that I left to do with you. So that was one of the images. This is another, and this is another. And then, so this is kind of more of the same. So basically, I've been, um, one of the other things I've been doing when I'm not on camera is getting, trying to get organized, putting like with like, rearranging things. Um, I hope to one day, maybe fairly, well, let me, let me not make promises I can't keep. You know, under promise and over deliver. Um, <coughs> For the longest time, for years, <laughs> for most of my life, I thought, I'm going to write the great Canadian novel or some other such book. So I have, not only had, but have an extensive library on uh, writing. Uh, I mean, a whole bookcase full of books on writing. And that, because maybe it's hard to let go of dreams sometimes, um, was taking up some pretty prime real estate in my wall-to-wall -wall closet here. And even though it wasn't visible, it was it was a kind of... Oh, it wasn't visible to the room, but it was visible every time I opened the closet. And I'm thinking, that's not a very good use of space. So the other day when I should have been doing something probably, something else probably, I began removing those books and I'm moving them all downstairs to another bookcase. Um, anyway, what I have realized is not real. This is not news. I have so many book blocks that I have to begin culling them. I have to begin deliberately using them. So I figured, okay, maybe they're not the easiest thing in the world. Maybe it's not exactly the, the, you know, to everyone's taste, but damn it, I'm going to use book pages if it kills me. So that's what all these have in common. So let me just tell you, this is the digital um, tag, some um, gauze or cheesecake, cheesecake, <laughs> if only, <laughs> cheesecloth. Um, that might have been a shabby dabby doodah, uh, um, digital some I have all of these and I love them so much all these little words now some of them are are you know useless but they're double-sided so am I ever going to use dinner maybe not am I ever going to use well I could use a different perspective let your hair down I didn't realize there was a long one like that anyway so I have bazillions of those so I used one um so this is just pretty straightforward. I have to say that the paper that I used for much of this <clears throat> is, oh, it just, it basically just crumbles. Now I, you can just see how the edges tore. So it's not much good for anything other than, um, you know, collage or, or something, or, you know, gluing it down. Now I, well, I'll tell you, I, I, it had really wide margins, so I removed all the margins and I did something else with those that will come up in another video. Anyway, because the pages were so fragile, I ended up having to back everything with, this is really beautiful paper, but a lot of this paper is fragile. So old dictionary, old music, whatever. Okay, so, I mean, tag. Um, this, this just feels so yummy. Now on this one, it ends up being a little substantial, but then it needs to be because it was basically crumbling. I folded it back and I doubled this, I turned back something there to strengthen this leading edge of the pocket. So 
in fact, I was using these fibers and you know how you sort of pull on it? Well, it tore right through. So I had to put in a patch and I had to put in a patch and then I had to cover the patch with a butterfly. I think it turned out really cute, but <laughs> a lot of uh, sort of repair work was needed. Then this one, uh, I thought it was kind of nice with the chapter and the little scrolly work there. This is some. This is from a dress that I had taken apart that was that I thrifted, bits of lace, and I sewed that button on. But of course, the first time I did it, oh, I forgot to back this one. Oh, and look, there's a tear here. The first time I did it, of course, the the thread came right through because the paper is so old. It's 1901. So then I used scotch tape and that helped, but it came through a second time. No, I made a big, well, whatever. I had to, I then taped it down, but I forgot to back this one. So clearly I'll back it. That will help with that fragile part there. Um, anyway, I just thought this was kind of cute and maybe something was needed in this corner. It's almost like a little swivelly thing. And then this one that you have been looking at for a long time, a bit of braid, um, some fussy cuts, a sentiment, and here we are. Now, what you don't know is that these corners, because I wanted that matted look and kind of kill two birds with one stone, back it and um, strengthen it, this is, these corners are still very weak. But, you know, I guess if they crumble in use, then it just means that it has more of a um, um, vintage -y look to it. So what I did just to prep a bit is, uh, oh, I use, this time I used the paper that would serve as a backing paper as well. I sort of did a collage of old papers around the perimeter knowing that this would be glued on here. Now there was, um, oh, I don't, oh, I know. I was thinking of putting this, uh, and this is just that hem binding stuff, putting that there so it would show a bit. Otherwise, it seems kind of pointless to do it. Um, I should rough up the edge a bit. Oh, and I should tell you about Tag Your Turn. So tag your turn is a very, very simple challenge, probably with some far-reaching effects. So basically, if someone gets tagged, they um, mark glitter glue to the rescue and maybe glue stick. They um, have two things to do. They can make they make a tag either on uh, in a video or prior to and then just basically do a show and tell and then the second thing they have to do is tag someone else to do the same and so on and so on so i gathered up these different elements here you know there's more here than would go on any particular tag this ribbon, I must say, came from one of those wedding invitation kits. So these are all pre-cut um, that I guess you would have slid through a, a slot or something in the invitation or the reply card or something. And you can see I used it here. I love, I have that slot punch. I love it. I don't think of using it enough. Um, so that scrap of ribbon is here. This is a little um, die cut tag shape. Here were some fibers that I came across. This is something I salvaged from that same dress I showed you. Or not the dress, but the, the sheer stuff I showed you. I don't know, that probably is not going to get used. Um, another piece of little book page, some sentiments, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's think this through. Since I already cut this sort of to fit, and since I notched that out and roughed it up, and I, again, I, I did do some inking this time because these are really old images, and, and 
inking seemed to lend itself. So I've been using Gather Twig on one of these. I use, I think it was, was it this one? Or was it on something else? I used Tattered Rose as well, which is really a delicate little pink. Or maybe I was intending to. Who knows? Who knows what goes in the, on in the craft room? Now there's green here, so I thought, oh, green could work. Maybe I could put some of these fibers. That's probably too much. Let's separate this. Why use up a whole clump if you can? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um, this little feather is kind of cute, and it's the colors kind of works together. This was one of those punch-outs that I thought could serve as a tab at the top. Um, now, I don't know if it would be overkill to add another sentiment at the bottom, perhaps. Maybe I should just quickly glue that down because I do want to use it. So, um, as with most videos, the, um, the playlist could be, you know, one of many. Use it, don't store it. Um, I will use the hashtag, tag your turn, of course and uh, connect, or not link, not connect, link uh, Carrie's cha uh, channel. <clears throat> um, again, because I'm, <laughs> is the word anal, I do use my centering ruler and make a mark as to where that tag should go. So if you haven't seen me use this before, it's got the zero in the middle, or this, well, this thing. And then you just keep sliding it back and forth until the, num the, the space on either side of the center is equal. Then you know you have hit the center. So that's where my center is. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to just, okay, this is probably fine. Yes, it's white. I'll use art glitter glue. I'll put glue probably just to the point where it starts, uh, that little peaked edge begins. So I'm just lining the, oh, I guess I need to put it lower since I put all that glue on there. Okay. So. Oh, I was going to use this bunch. So I think I'll glue this down now. Let's just get the positioning kind of right. I could have this Let's uh, maybe we'll try this. Sometimes on a very um porous, not porous, that isn't the right word. <laughs> um on a very open weave type thing like lace. Um, art glitter glue or Fabri-Tac don't work quite as well because they, of course, are, <clears throat> there's nothing much for it to, to stick to. And this, you know, again, obviously everything else will help hold it down as well. So I'm not too concerned that, oh, it didn't grab. <clears throat> Okay, so that's in place. Now, do we want this other bit of book page? Okay, I can do, I could do like a little mini collage. And again, it, I don't know, you could almost hear that tearing, I think.
Okay, let's do that. Maybe I want to rip this a little closer. Mm, let's do this for speed. So I hope that you are well. I hope you're crafting your little hearts out. I hope that the weather has settled down and um, is not creating you any hardship in your life. Um, now, I think if I'm using fibers, I probably want them underneath there. So let's just position this kind of wherever we think it will look good. And I guess the reason I wanted to show you all these options, of course, uh, when if if and when you get tagged, um, there is no obligation whatsoever to do mega tags. It's tag your turn, not tags your turn. So, um, you know, it's, it's just that I think many of us have already figured out that if we're going to pull something out, if we're going to pull out elements that, that, uh, well, I might as well glue this down. If we're going to pull out a whole bunch of things to use, we might as well make it worth our while and get several things done all at once. So um, I'm just using my YooHoo glue stick. I've never tried Scotch Create. I know that some people rave about it. Uh, frankly, I don't want to spend that much on glue, so I'm really happy with YooHoo in most uh, applications. And um, when I uh, I buy it by the usually two, not cases, but two boxes at a time, so like twenty four, um, I get a you know a. Uh, volume discount anyway so it even makes it more attractive i think that'll be kind of cute okay now for this we'd better just put a little puddle a few little dabs there lay this baby down and again the more the more stringy, you know, the more the strings or the loops poke out, the better. Then we'll add glue to this, including this weak page here. Ugh! I uh, spent the day watching videos, and because I can't stop, I was using my laptop. No, I was watching them on TV. Um, I couldn't stop to comment but I know how much commenting means um, to channels, to my friends, and to uh, YouTube. And I really care the most about YouTube. Ha. Huh. Um, I just made a note of whose video it was and the gist of what I wanted to say. And today, once these uh, videos I'm making are uploading that's when I can catch up on my comments so I think that one's pretty cute anyway this should be going a lot faster than it is so let's just move along here and then this was another one that I sort of prepped so all music page all backed dare I try to all well, flatten this out once I have it done I picked this piece of uh, lace kind of roughed up the edges a bit I added this because I thought that was kind of nice to the back of this. So that will go on next. I have this tab. Now it, yeah, it'll do. That'll go on at the top. And I have some buttons that could work. You know, you it used to be when I bought old buttons, I would quickly take those threads out. And now I know, well, goofball, don't do that. That's a, a plus. So 
Um, this was a scrap of something that Kim gave me in that gorgeous. Um, oh, see, these will have to get glued down because I've already attached the backing. So I'm not going to go through that whole ceremony of, um, okay, let's get this done in layers. Um, I'm going to essentially, okay, I don't care if the lace doesn't, if every little centimeter, if it isn't, um, glued down. So I'm just going to sort of add the glue in the middle. If it isn't, if it doesn't catch the lace at the edges, that's a-okay. I don't know if there was a top or bottom to this. Almost seems like it's a bit wider there, so I'll make that the bottom. And again, this is, you know, use it, don't store it. So as I'm peeking into uh, dark corners and, and spaces I haven't looked at for a long time, I'm seeing just how much of most things I have. So it's really becoming critical to me to use them, don't store them. I think I will use a glue stick on this as well. And uh, then we'll top off the rest probably with our glitter glue. So this is a way to use a nice big piece of lace, especially if you scored a big piece. And, uh, you know, that can be a little daunting sometimes. Whoops. If you have yards and yards of something, because then you think to yourself, or you could think to yourself, be intimidated, and think, oh my goodness, when will I ever use this? I just want that straight. And again, you know, when you're when you're gluing something down, why is this not even pretending that it wants to stick down? When you are using gluing anything down over lace, you know that it's a little bit of a tough, tough thing. Not impossible, but a little bit tough. Oh, this is where I used the uh, tattered rose. I'm not totally losing my mind. What the heck? I still, I better reinforce this with our glitter glue. Still doesn't want to grab it here. Well, maybe that's because the lace hasn't grabbed it there either. And, you know, don't be afraid to either put these things under a weight or put a clamp on or something because, you know, time's a wasting in the craft room. We can't, we can't be here. Whoa, look at that. I just tore that. Um, her eyes were bluer than... We'll never know. Um... Anyway, we can't be sitting here all day holding stuff till it dries. So use the tools around you. Okay. Let's figure out, are we using both buttons or just one? Are we using it this way? Could just be a small thing. And typically, if I'm adding something, you know, fairly bulky, I want it at the top. Um, now mind you, a tag like this probably wouldn't go into a pocket anyway, because, um, it's, um, let's rough this up a bit. Uh, probably wouldn't go into a pocket anyway, because if, you know, 
the fragility off it, so it would probably just end up being clipped to a page. Okay, I think I will not use that heavier one. Um, I think I'm going to need... i got to pull out the big guns. Fabri-Tac. To hold that button. And you can see when you use like a square inch of lace, <laughs> it will take forever to use a piece up. So anyway, I will be at some point. Um, no, I don't know if you'll see that before you see this. Anyway, I guess just know that I need to, my birthday is actually March 6th. I'm taping this on February 21st. So I need to get on with it and um, make my announcements. So that'll probably be a bonus video, whatever day I do that. Okay, just know that when you add, um, uh, whether it's art glitter glue or uh, Fabri-Tac, you probably... There's a good possibility it's going to ooze out through those little holes. Now with art glitter glue, it is not it'll dry uh, clear, as will this, but it will also be a bit shiny. Now I suppose I could have looked for something more there, but sometimes simplicity is the order of the day. So let's add the tab and call it done. So, Caroline, if you haven't already guessed, I am tagging you. I will put um, your, um, your name in the video title. And if you... Oh, I forgot to do the centering on this one. That looks like it could be good. If you need more information, reach out to me. I'll also link Carrie's channel. And I, um, again, it's very simple. And another thing, you don't know anyone out there. You don't need to ha to actually be tagged. You can start the, the thing going. Okay, let's look at what we have. Um... Okay, two different ones of that, two different ones of that, two different ones of that. So you can see how, um, or let's do it like this. You can see how the, the, the elements you choose will determine the final look. Oh, you know what? This feels like it needs a sentiment. Um, hmm. Probably don't want to make you wait for that possibilities uh, let's use this enrichment possibilities do you know how uh, how on you how out of character it is to grab the first one and use it This needs to be here. In hindsight, it probably should have been closer to this little thing, but she's down. Okay, so that's those two. Whoops. Speaking of needing a clamp. Okay, those two these two these two and I will uh, put them under some weight to just flatten them out a bit because you know with the fragile oh and one of these 
this I need to back that one too okay guys thank you so much for joining me Caroline if you have any questions about what you know what I've done to you then um, by all means reach out to me I think it's pretty straightforward make a tag either on camera any style any genre any color any any whatever your heart desires make a tag either on camera or just do a show and tell after the fact and then tag someone else to keep the momentum going anyway guys i will back this and get on with the next video thanks so much for being here bye bye